everyone welcome back to a new video who else is glad it's friday oh hands up yeah me too i know right i'm gonna start with two kind of pinks i've got pink madness and the boardwalk one's a lighter pink and one's a more kind of bright neony pink so my lighter pink is going to be the background for these nails so i'm going to do two coats of this pink each coat needs a 30 second cure in an led lamp and then the pink one the darker pink we're going to use to do the heart so this set of nails here is what inspired my set so they're not the same but well they're kind of the same in principle but they're different i'm sure we've used different things if you know what i mean do you know what i mean so they yeah anyway they're inspired by right <laughs> so i am gonna this was really difficult actually it sounds really silly but the bottom part of this nail we're going to turn into a heart and i found it quite awkward making the archy bit but then at the same time right so look i've done the arches and then i'm going to use the application brush to fill in the bottom but because i've done this it left it a little bit patchy so what i done was i grabbed some more gel polish on my detailer brush and i just kind of filled in to make it less patchy There we go you don't want to put too much on though because if you do it might wrinkle but this was in out this was fine so i'm going to do the same thing on all three of the other nails then i'm going to use some base coat because these these are the the mixed butterflies from nail sugar you can save 10 percent on nail sugar items using my code natmug10 there's a lovely mix of butterflies in here different colors and there's two different shapes i'm going to use the smaller ones today and i'm just going to place a little dollop of base coat where i want the butterfly and then i'm gonna this butterfly was in my finger and then i'm trying to get it off and it just flew away So I had to go and find it and then look, then I was like, right, I'm going to use my katana, crystal katana. Anyway, I managed to get it into that base coat and then I will cure that into place in that base coat. You can have the butterfly slightly at an angle. You can have it upright. You can put it whatever way you want it. But once you're happy, shove it in the lamp and give it a cure. And see what I mean? Just a little dollop. There was a bit much on that. I was trying to get some off, but I don't know if it worked. <laughs> I tried to get a different colour as well for the other three, the other two nails. And again, pop it in the lamp. And then do the same thing on the other one. There we go. And then I'm going to go over with some matte top coat. That was a hair or something there. This is the little pink perfect matte top coat. You could leave it shiny, but I wanted it matte because the uh, because of the gel that we're going to put on. the Yeah, this is the... Uh, sculpting gel from Nelchemy. I've got loads of this left. Um, I'm loving sculpting gels at the moment and I thought the other day I haven't used them so I thought I'd use them to do these 3D animals. So I'm going to use the beige one first. We're going to create a dog. So the dog's going to have a slightly ovaled head. I'm going to place the, this will be the obviously the main part of the dog's head. It's just a, like just on like the arch. If I'd have thought about it I would have put it slightly higher up because we want the animals to look like they are like leaning over the heart with their paws so i haven't cured this i haven't cured the head yet and um, for the little paws i took a bit of the beige sculpting gel and i cut it in two because i obviously want the paws to be the same size however when i went to put them on the nail i thought they're going to be way too big so i mushed them together I removed about a third of the product, I think. You can't see. I'll go out of shot slightly. It's a bit annoying. But I'm going to squidge them, squidge it into a a kind of circle, an uh, oval kind of shape, and then I will cut it in half. And I'm using just a kind of little spatula tool to cut it in half. So I just round them into balls in my fingers. If you are going to use this product, it is best that you do wear gloves because it is an uncured gel product, even though it's not, it's not really like tacky. However, it's always best to be safe rather than sorry. Um, but you know what I'm like, 
I don't take my own advice, which is terrible because one day it'll come back and bite me in the bottom or more like on the fingers when I've got blisters and stuff and it'll be my own fault. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm using the brown now to make the ears. I had the same issue with the brown. I took some out that I thought was going to be enough and it turned out to be too much. But for the ears, you, I'm going to make it kind of oval and then I'm going to slightly point one end so it looks like a teardrop. If you see what, can you see that? And then I'm going to place that on the side of the head and push the the top of the raindrop towards the top of the head. But I was like, no, that's way too big. So I took it off. And again, I removed about a third of the product. And then I split it in half again. And then again, I'm going to make it into kind of like a tear shape. Like that. And then I will place it on the side again and again move the top part of the ear around towards the top of his head. And then, what, wait, yeah, there we go. And then you're going to do the same with the other bit. Again, look, we've got our little tear shape. Place it on the side. You want to kind of match it up so that they're, they're even. You want the ears to be even. Push it down onto the top of the head. And then we've got little brown ears. Oh, I love it already. I'm not going to cure that yet. I'm going to place the the little feet on. You can cure as you go, but if you don't need to, then it will save time because the the sculpting gel needs. Can you see what I mean? By that, he's a little bit too a uh, little bit too low down on the heart, but it it doesn't matter. I mean, you can't see that the hearts. It looks kind of like a sleeping bag, but yeah. So I'm going to place him in the lamp now for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to add some detail using the black. Madam Glam gel paint. So just two little dots for the eyes, a slightly bigger dot for the nose. I tried to make it kind of an oval shape as well. And then you can't see because it's gone out of focus, but I'm just doing a little tiny mouth. So it's just a little line down from his nose and then you curve them around to each side, like a mustache, I suppose. There we go, can you see that? Yes, you can. Pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds. Then we're gonna start on the next one. I decided the next one was gonna be a bear. So it's kind of like the same process. The head for the bear is going to be more rounded as opposed to oval like the like the dog was. On my little brush here, this is just a 3D acrylic brush. It's an old one. I'm just I've just got some isopropyl alcohol. You don't want to make the brush sopping wet. You just want it damp so that the product doesn't stick to the brush. Um Again, look, the same thing I do for the ears. I take some product and I split it in two so that I know that I've got the same amount of product for each ear um, because I don't want them to be different, you know, different sizes. And again, I haven't cured these. I'm going to put these on before I cure the, the whole thing. I'm going to just press them out to make them slightly bigger. Oh, I love teddy bears. <laughs> There we go. And then you want your paws. So again, I'm going to take some product and split it in two. There we go. And then place the little paws on. I can hear the school children. They might be doing something in the park today. Can you hear them? You might not be able to hear them yet. There we go. That's the bear. Okay, you hopefully you won't be able to hear the noise in the background. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, so the bear's done. I'm just gonna faff a little bit with the bear and then I will put, pip, put him, <laughs> I'll put him in my um, LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. For the bear's eyes, I'm using the dotting tool and some white gel paint and I'm making the eyes on the bear a lot bigger than what they were on the dog. So I've made, I've tried to make them like white little white ovaled eyes and then he's got a big biggish nose and then I'm gonna do two little dots inside the white eyes for the these are gonna be the pupils like that do I give him a mouth I'm not sure no I don't give him a mouth so that is the that's the bear done the next one's gonna be a bunny using the white sculpting gel i did accidentally get a little bit of the tan the the beige sculpting gel on the in the white can you see i've got some 
and then there's a bit of glitter in there as well so he ends up looking like a dirty bunny <laughs> it's a bunny that's been rolling around in the dirt he's probably been playing with a dog or something but anyway look i've done the same thing the bunny's got an oval head so again i've got some isopropyl alcohol it might be gel cleanse actually i forget what i've got in the pot but again you only want a little bit you only want a damp brush you don't want a sopping wet brush but i've made and also i went out of focus and shot and stuff so i put some bunny ears on but they're kind of like sausage shaped a little bit and two bunny paws even though he's looking dirty cure that in the lamp for 30 60 seconds and then for the detail on the bunny we're adding the pink gel paint from madam glam we're gonna add some pink inside the ears on both ears obviously that was a silly thing to say nats yeah both ears need a pink middle and also i decided to add some pink paw pads on the bunny just like little circles they're gonna be the paw pads i thought that was quite cute quite cute there we go he will need 60 seconds for his ears and his paws and then again he's got a little tiny little tiny eyes and a little little nose but i was just gonna do two little lines coming out like a triangle but it made him look it made him look a little bit sad so again i put i tried to curve it round to make him look like he was smiling and i think that's better because i don't want a sad bunny he needs to be a happy bunny there we go we've made a sad bunny happy that's gonna go in the lamp then to make them look like they were actually in hearts i thought i'd use this ultra pink gel paint look at the color <gasps> i love it i'm gonna create a, sh a heart shape inside the heart at the bottom of the nail but this was so awkward to do for some reason i just couldn't get the heart the right shape like one curve of the heart would end up bigger than the other one so i'd try to make the other one bigger and then the other one would end up being bigger than the other and it just honestly it was a right nightmare so i was like right we're just gonna do one heart inside the bunny this can be the middle nail because i just oh, I tell you it was a it was a process there we go so i'm gonna try and yeah so see i skipped forward because it was that bad so we're just gonna have one heart on this on the on the animals and then i'm gonna add some little in fact you know what we should call them sleeping bags shouldn't we because we're gonna add look we're adding stars on so just a dollop in the middle and then using a detailer brush you just bring the product up down left and right and it just makes a star and they could be sleeping couldn't they in their little sleeping bags i'm gonna add some little dots on as well so i've done little hearts on sorry stars on the other ones as well just add some little little tiny star dots and then once you're happy you can pop these in the lamp yeah i added a star on the on the heart of that middle one but pop them in the lamp for 60 seconds for a full cure and then i will oh you can get 30 percent off madam glam as well by the way using my code natmark 30 i don't think i mentioned that <laughs> i'll show you a close-up now oh my gosh look at them i even love the dirty bunny so cute anyway i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free and once you've subscribed you're in the gang forever you cannot leave <laughs> god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one <laughs> i don't know what that was love you bye love you bye